Ryan that's sitting there on the ramp. Doug Rosendahl will land, and then we're going to go on to the beginning. We hear the whine of our next pilot. That's Greg Collier. His call sign is Wired. And listen to the sound of this compared to that of the Mustang. Lieutenant Richard Bong. As the T-33 climbs skyward out in front of us with a quarter clover loop. And so the folks at Lockheed got together with the Air Force and they stretched the cockpit, uh, the fuselage, put a second cockpit in and began producing this two-seat trainer. Some 6,700 of these airplanes were built. And still, as of about 10 years ago, a couple were still in service with the Bolivian Air Force. They were also manufactured. When it went, the single seat P-80, later called the F-80 shooting star, went into uh, combat in the Korean conflict. It was quickly outclassed by the swept wing MiG-15 aircraft, forcing the United States Air Force to rush into operation. An aircraft built by North America called the F-86 Sabrejet. But this is the shooting star, Greg Wired Collier. Heard the roar of the crowd He could break down the sea Put his head to the wall Then like a distant scream He heard one guitar Just blow him away Saw a star in his eyes And the very next day On a beat of six In a second-hand store Didn't know but it knew for sure that one guitar was good in his hands. Then big balls to understand. Just one guitar swung way down the road. Was a one-way ticket, only one way to go. So he started rocking.
years. That fly at different air shows with Greg. He owns three of them. His other pilots are Robert Scratch Mitchell, who used to fly with the Canadian Forces Snowbirds. 